Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs. This is the second part to the um, my my sewing on on paper um, for my my blue and white working in my blue and white journal. Um, so if you didn't see part one, um, I will put it. It should be in the description. You can go back and take a look at um, this page here. It's a pocket page. Um, so thank, I want to thank everybody for joining in. And, um, if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. Um, love the thumbs ups. Um, they help. And, um, yeah, I just, I have my channel for fun. I have it to try and, and teach and encourage people to do different things in their journals. Um, so in the last video, I was talking about using this secondary um, piece of design that I had cut out to put on the page over here as well. I've decided not to do that because I think it would be fighting with this here. Um, I don't want to take away from this pocket over here in this, this lovely design first I thought, you know, I could put it at the bottom. I could put this up at the top. Um, I could put it on the side to use as a, a little, um, tag or, or whatever you may want to call it. What I did instead, I cut out another design. Um, this is the paper that I'm using for these, um, I don't know if you call them geometric designs, whatever. This paper comes from Blue Fern Studio, and I bought quite a bit of it um, when I, I went there. I just, I love these designs. It just, it just really does something to me. Um, so what I decided to do is this design here was on another piece of paper. And because it's nothing like this here, what I decided to do here is I'm going to tuck this inside, probably down here below, and I'm going to use it as, as, a, as a tag. I will adhere it to the paper when I'm done with it. So I'm going to be, that's what I'm going to be stitching on. So I'm going to move my journal up at the top here. And... <clears throat> I'm bringing out, if you have a felt pad, go ahead and use the felt pad. Um, uh, this is what I have. I have a, a quilter's press. I bought this because it also has a hard side that I can measure my paper and such on. Um, so I have to, when you have a design such as this, I mean, you do have to decide what you want to do. If you, if you are a stitcher, um, and if you're not a stitcher, I would recommend, you know, what stitches do you like to do? Um, this here, you can have your, your stitches starting in the center and you can have stitches coming out. Okay. Around like a sunburst type thing. Um, you could fill the center with French knots if you enjoy doing French knots. You could have French knots in the center, and then you could have your uh, stitches coming out to make a sunburst. Um, these little, let me see if I want to get this down here so you can really see the, there you go. Um, these little, uh, scallops around the side here you could do french knots in every other one but again if you do that if you do every other one you're going to want to make a mark and you're going to want to count because the last thing you want to do is start here and then have uh two french knots side by side um, you could do over here there's little scallops you could do french knots one two three in each of these um, on here, if you wanted to do, um, I don't know if it's called a, I don't know what, um, I can't think of the name of it, but 
it, it's a loop. You could make loops and then you could put French knots in there. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with these designs. Um, and I think that is the, for me, it's the most difficult to figure out. I mean, just when I was talking, it would be fun to do, um, I would do some holes here. I could do some French knots here. And then I could do my sunburst out. But again, I like doing the sunburst out all the way around. Um, then if I were to do a sunburst here, I could do, I could make this outline around here. Okay. And then that would leave this row here. Then I could do some French knots here. And then I could do some... I could do some stitching up here. Sometimes, you know, when you start, you start in the middle and you work out, you're going to figure out what you want, what will look the best. So I think that's what we're just going to do here. Um, so I'm going to bring this back up here where you can see. And you can see here there's three little leaves or like clover leaves here. And I'm going to make one, I'm going to make one punch in here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I am going to do a sunburst type. I'm going to do a sunburst type stitch, just a straight stitch all the way around. And my, I'm making a little bit bigger because my needle is going to have to keep passing through this hole. All right. Um, because I'll be using a little bit more thread. So I made just a little bit bigger hole there. Then I'm going to take my, I'm going to take a pin. And I got to get a drink because I've been mm, talking too much. I'm doing these videos back, back to back. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start um, punching, okay? Now, obviously, you know, I mean, it's just common sense. The further you punch away, the less stitches you'll have around, okay? So I do want to have quite a few stitches around here. So I am going to punch them somewhat close together, but not too close because you don't want your holes to, um, I don't want to say cave into themselves, but I don't want two holes to become one, okay? And this does get to your, this does get to your thumb. I tried to use, a, um, I'd really like to use this, but I don't know, it's very awkward for me. I'm sure it's not for a lot of girls. I'll I'll live with the pain because I just can't. I can't deal. I just can't deal with that. Okay, so that's pretty evenly, that's pretty evenly spread. You can see, um, you can see the holes. So now you just have to figure out what uh, colors you want to use. And let's see here, I'm going to, I have a couple yellows. I think I'd like to use a yellow. One is more of a golden yellow. Um, but I think I'm going to use the lighter, I'm going to use the lighter yellow. Uh, so here's my needle from before when I was working with the blue. Raise this up a little bit more now. Okay. And again, this is, this is something that, um, 
you know, these are great summer projects. If you want to, if you have a nice screened in porch or sit under, if you have a pool and you don't feel like reading or the grandkids are over and they need watching out around the pool or in the sandbox and you can uh, sit in a nice lounge chair and do do some stitching. I remember when I was a little girl, uh, my mom worked for a little while. She wanted to save up, she wanted to buy a car. Her first car was a little tiny Plymouth Valiant. It was light blue, the cutest little car. So she worked for that, and um, I went to my neighbor's. My neighbor babysat me in the summer. Right across the street, her name was Betty Bodkin. And she was very old-fashioned. Um, very old-fashioned. And... She would turn the TV on for me in the afternoon. I'd be outside playing. And she would turn the TV on, and she would sit in her rocking chair, and she would darn her husband's socks. And I'll never forget it. She used to put, and I guess this is what they did, if he had a hole in his toe, the toe of his the toe of his sock, she would put a light bulb in the sock and that's how she would darn the hole. And I just, that always stuck with me. I just thought it was the funniest thing And obviously, she must have done the she must have done the light bulb routine. So um, he didn't have a bunch in his sock. All right, so I'm going to, because you don't need to see me sit here and stitch this whole thing around. I'm going to uh, pause the camera, and I'm going to finish up um, the stitching around here, and then we will move on to the next phase. All right, so that is all complete. So you see why you need, you, you need to have a little bit bigger hole, um, because you do... Um, go through um, you do go through that hole quite often all right so there is the center and then I think what we will do uh, next let me get my little board out here <coughs> get my needle over here so I don't lose that I think the next thing I'm going to do um, is I think I will take these three here and I think I will do French knots on these. So I'm going to poke holes. all the way around here Ouch. 
And I'm going to, let's see, I'll have to pop these three here. Uh, yeah, two, three. I want to see where this is going to fit in. Okay, so I really, I'll be doing the one. I'll have, when I get over around here, I will do this one and this one. And go around all right so I think here I will do I did French this color with the French knots before uh, I could use a Blue. I don't really want to use a blue. I want to use something bright. Something a little different. Maybe I could use this one here. I may have to get some more colors. Um, here of this yarn or thread. I guess they call it a thread, right? I'm so inapt at cotton, pearl, cotton, pearl thread, I guess. I don't have all the terminology down that a lot of these other, uh, these other women. Use. And then in the meantime, when I was, I feel bad now. I, my, my husband and son were out. They went out for a Sunday drive. My son has a sports car and he doesn't go out. Look at that. I already nodded it. He doesn't go out too often because the price of gas. Um, so he asked my husband if he wanted to go for a drive today. He asked his dad and. He said, sure. I told my husband, I go, fill his tank up when he comes home or on the way home. So they went way up north. It doesn't seem like they've been gone that long. And they called to, wanted to know, we, we've got a nice little restaurant right on the lake. If I wanted to go, grab a bite to eat with them. And I turned them down. Um... My girlfriend and her husband are coming for dinner tonight, and I said if I go and eat now, if I have a big lunch, we're going to have pulled pork tacos, and I can smell the pulled pork. I've got it in my crock pot, and she's making a really good dessert. Um, and I told him if I go and have lunch now, I'm not going to be hungry for dinner. And, but I feel bad that I didn't go. They're going to go. Guys can always make room for food. I've got a little tummy. I don't like to say no to my my son that's single. Um, and his brother's away for two months, but I wish he'd find a girlfriend. It's so hard to meet people these days in these dating apps. You can't tell what anybody is like, and I have to keep. I'm I'm pulling my thing to the side there. 
So he's, he can't really, he doesn't drink, so he doesn't go to bars. Not that you want to meet a, anybody in a bar. All right, so you get the gist of this. I Again, I'm going to take, I'm going to put it on pause, and I'm going to go around and finish these French knots, and we'll come back for, for the next phase. Oops. Just finish this one. Okay. Okay. So the, the, um, come on, Barbie. French knots are done. And I just want to make sure that that will fit in there just nicely like that. All right. Um, so next, I think what I may do is, um, I do want to bring some blue into it because obviously the photo here is blue. So I'm wondering if I might want to um, do some things here. Maybe I'll attach a little pearl inside here as well. Maybe I'll just do a blue around here. You don't want to get too carried away. Um, so I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to, I will make some little, uh, so I'm going to need to put a, I don't want to go too close to the top. So I'm going to need to put a hole here, hole here here, 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 and we'll do this one, <clears throat> and then I think I'm going to put it right at this edge here, because remember, I'm going to, I'm going to have to poke a hole here, and then one up above, because when you make your um, what the heck stitch is that? I don't have my, I don't have my book up here, my needle point book. Make two, one here and one here. You'll see why I'm doing the two. Oh boy, it hurts my little fingers. That's the only thing with this. I've got it. Maybe I can get one of those rubber. I know they have rubber uh, fingertip. Ouch. For your. I have to get a rubber one because this does hurt. No matter how you cut it. Okay. All right. All right. So those holes are poked. And I think, I think I will use this blue. I think that'll be pretty. So Daisy, if you're watching this, um, you had made a comment in my pin cushion video that you were having trouble cutting the thread um i had asked what you meant by that the only thing i can think of that just came to me is that you're having trouble cutting the length of your maybe the length of your thread um, to know how much thread you need to use when you're doing an embroidery project. I can't think of anything else there, my friend, uh, what you meant by that. So 
please get back to me if you can. Um, cause I'm just, I'm curious. That's the only thing that I can think of. Okay. So now for this stitch, you're going to have to come back through and this is where you want to be careful. This is a little heavier card stock. So I don't want to bend my, this is going to be tricky. I don't want to bend my paper a lot, but I have to come up through here. And I think this is where I'm going to run into a little difficulty. Well, I think what I'm going to have to do, Barbie, get smart about this girl. I'm just going to have to go down and come up through. So I don't bend my... So I don't bend my paper. That's what I'm going to have to do. And then there we go. There we go. There's the ticket. So up. And again, you're just going to have to you just have to be patient and you have to be I guess methodical about how you're going to I'm going to raise this up a little bit because I think I have a feeling I'm blocking blocking what I'm supposed to be showing you so I have to find that hole there come up there we go all right there we go. I'm going to do this all the way around with you. I'm not going to take a break on this one. So remember, you go back down in your hole. If you were, obviously, if you were uh, stitching on fabric, it would be a lot different, but you're going to have to go up and down. And then find that other hole that you punched. Okay, I just have to let my needle hang to stop it from being swirly. So I hope this isn't too confusing. Uh, so you're going to go down. Keep your thumb on that so you start to make your loop. Come back up in your hole. Okay, there you go. And then that second hole that you punch, you're going to run through it to catch that top there. Okay. So Daisy, let's get back to you, uh, girlfriend. You're just you, you're just going to have to as you stitch. Um, you're going to get more familiar with how much thread you need. And if you, the one thing you don't want to do is cut your strand so long. If you're use, if you're working with DMC embroidery thread, um, just be careful that it's not, it's not too long because you can, it can get knotted in the back and then you're really going to get frustrated um, but if that's what you're talking about when you say you're having trouble cutting your thread, that's the only thing I could, it popped into my mind when I was taking some of this blue off. The next thing I'm going to be stitching on is old postcards. I have so many old postcards, and that's one thing that 
uh, Jane Chip does. And um, I want to learn some other stitches for for the postcards. But I'm really getting into the this stitching on paper. I just think it is just really, really cool. And I think it just makes your pages that more special. Whoops, get that away from that little knot there. Okay, so that is done. I'm really pleased the way this is coming out. Um, and I hope everything that I'm talking about is making sense to you. Oh, I like that. And I could actually probably put that under just a little bit. So that's like that. Very cool. Very cool. Um, all right. So I am going to want, I think the last stitching I'm going to do on this is um, I'm going to outline this circle. I'm not going to outline this here because I don't want to weaken those holes. I'm going to do a stitch right around that there. Um, I could do, if we look at this here, you can see where I stitched around here. Um, I could do that on here. And then I could do another stitch around there. Um, we could try it. There is, this is only going through once, so I could give it a go. And I don't have to go in every hole. Um, and I don't think I want to use blue. I think maybe I will use this darker, maybe this darker, let me just see what I used. I used that. Um, this darker, a little bit darker shade of purple. That would be fun around there. And then I could use the dark blue on the outside color. Yeah, and I do think if I'm gonna be, I'm really enjoying this, so I may have to order some more of this cotton uh, yarn. I got this on Amazon, but I'm not sure the site, I'd have to go back and look to see exactly where I ordered it. If I, can, if I find it, I'll put it in the description. All right, so we can just start anywhere. And maybe I'll do every other. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do every other, then I'll come up. So it's going to be a little stem stitch, okay? I'll do the stem stitch around this. We'll see how that works. So I'm doing every other and then coming up in the center. Okay.
sometimes when I'm stitching these, it reminds me of when, <laughs> again, when I was little, and um, everything was punched out. Remember those little kits? My mom used to get them for me. Everything was punched out. And you just and they gave you the numbers. Oh, I know as I'm really enjoying this. And I hope I hope you folks are too. It's just something totally different And I think it's nice to, you know, just instead of adorning, you know, everything with paper and little bits of ephemera, um, doing your embroidery, I think it's the best of both worlds. I just think it just really makes it that much more special. And yes, sewing on paper is different than your fabric because you can just poke your needle up through and be done with it um, but when you're doing the paper when you're uh, doing your paper uh, because it's cardstock hold on here um, it's stiff and it's hard so you do want to just flip it over to make sure you're going in the proper hole. And this worked out very well um, because I've got my all right, and we're going to go right back down in over here. I'll go right down in here. All right. So there is our outline okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to step off to the side, I'm going to poke around here and I'm going to do the same thing around here and then we'll be able to get the uh, photo um, into the book and we will wrap it up. All right, so I finished the, didn't take me long, I finished the outside blue here and I am all set and ready to uh, put this in. Now, I'm not real concerned about the back of this in my book. Um, because some of it, I'll adjust the camera in just a minute so you can see, um, this is going to be in here like this, isn't that pretty? And then, um, I can always, let me get this in the book and then I can always put a, let's raise that up so you can see here. Oh, 
show you. That's fun. Um, when I work on this page, when I flip it and work on this page, I can always put another disc on there. Um, but first, I'm going to get this glued in. And I'm going to get my, my cement glue. I call this cement glue because it just really bonds quickly. So I'm going to get this. And here in the bottom like this. Okay, pull that out just a little bit. Because that does. That will take hold quite quickly. And that fit nicely inside that there. Okay. So now I just want to figure out when I put it in my book. Okay, I'm going to put it right about here and then I can glue this section down as well. Um, I'm gonna glue this all in just so I make sure it doesn't, it's in there good because of this tag this little tab on it. And then I will decide and I'll put that right about there. And then I will, I can put a little bit here. And I'm just going to press that together here, okay? And I will, <clears throat> when I work on this page here, I will add another little um, circle here. Not necessarily, you know, I'll just do a punch and I will incorporate a, a circle. Um, here, the other thing that would work well, I'd make those circle belly bands. I could make a pocket here. So that is glued on the back side. So these are the, um, so these are the two, uh, destination memory pages in my blue and white journal. And I really, I'm so happy the way these turned out. I just love the stitching. And I plan on doing um, much more stitching in the books. And I hope that this has really inspired you as well to go ahead, take the time, do some stitching, have fun, you know, really have fun in your books and make them your own. Um, and it's just a really, really nice enhancement. So... I'm so happy that you all joined in for this. Um, yeah, I just really like it. I can't stop looking at it. It's just so much fun. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I really, I would love to hear your comments on this. And if you create any pages like this as well, go back, look at all your scrapbooking papers, um, flower prints, whatever. Um, get it out, start stitching on them and get them in your journals. So thanks everybody for joining in. I really appreciate it and have a really great day. All right. Bye-bye.